morning everybody, it's Chris here from Serena Education with your four majors analysis update for the 13th of October 2011. Hi guys, hope you have a fantastic day yesterday trading, a lot of momentum, a lot of movement. Um, we've seen previous highs, a lot of resistance in the past being breached yesterday on our daily charts on Euro in particular, across the Euro, Sterling, US dollar, Swiss franc, uh, US Japanese yen moved, can you believe it? Um, a lot of momentum. This is clearly what we call uh, risk risk versus trading it's it's crazy stuff where we see in this risk appetite for trading uh, tr um, higher highs being breached uh, made on a consecutive of well, the past since October we've had this massive rally to the upside pretty much just trading um, any good news that's coming out of the out of uh, Europe in particular um, we know that Sarkozy and uh, Merck have, have come forward and said that they'll do anything to help um, get Europe back on its on its feet, um, and people have just been dumping at that. Um, nothing's been set in concrete yet. It's just a, uh, it's just them potentially just buying time. It's just hoping that everybody will just be um, um, going long because of what they they mentioned in the market that. And um, that's what we've seen a lot of momentum to the upside uh, with slight pause uh, the day prior, but yesterday's candle really reaching higher, breaking 1300 and even testing uh, the 13800, another psychological area. So the daily pivot has been breached. Um, so pivot one being breached, if we can find support above 13750 now, then the more likelihood we're going to see further extensions higher. Um, ideally, we could see the top ends of the others of, of the swing. Just below the 3900 mark being our, our next potential target as price is just shooting to the upside um, if we look at our intraday please be aware that the CTC on this time frame is still negative uh, we, we have come from a significant we have seen a significant drop and we've had a break of that drop but um, if you just look at the from the initial breakout the move down to the fib extension uh, retracement area to the bottom here you notice that we had a Slight pause at the 38.2% mark, uh, break higher, has now seen us testing the 50%. So we've had a pullback of 50% of the initial move to the downside. Be aware that we'll still have 61.8 above us. So a break above the 38, uh, 8500 mark would psychologically look at uh, just above the 400 mark being our next potential target, 61.8%, and then ultimately way up here at the 100%. Now 1400 we know is a psychological support and resistance level because it happened to be a very strong previous support and resistance level in the past. If I just zoom out you can quite clearly see that through most of this year we've had some resistance support and support along the way. So breakout, if we had a very strong breakout to the downside, uh, we were looking at potentially 1300 as our next potential target failed to see that as price has really rallied in the past couple weeks so psychological bounce could we see 61.8 being the underside of this price support and resistance level being tested before we see potentially further extensions to the downside who's to know we weren't expecting this to to really uh, pan out as much a lot of us trading technicals just couldn't see how this was going to really play out to the upside but it's happened and you got to trade what's, what the charts are saying. We thought we'll probably clearly see a uh, further um, failure at this very strong um, resistance level here in the past. That didn't work. We had a, a shooting star candle actually at this resistance level here. We wanted price to actually close higher to confirm that this was indeed looking further bullish than bearish because this was actually a clear indication of potential selling of selling coming into the market we've seen it previously at this at this level and that wasn't to be clear break to the upside and the momentum is now looking for favorable further longs so if we can stay above 13,7500, then obviously a, a support area here after this a slight consolidation against the major trend and then potentially um, 38.50 and above being retested soon so if you look at our intraday if you look at the hourly for example CTC is blue on this time frame. We can see we have the higher swings dictating price action to the upside. And you can see that the daily pivot, yeah, just below 13,7500, has been breached. Uh, it was breached yesterday as we 
saw that momentum drive to the upside. It has consolidated, however, during the Asian session. And you can see a small support has been forged at the 3780 uh, mark. So look at that as your intraday potential intraday support area on the smaller intraday time frame. So look at 1378 being your support. And if you can see a break higher than the yesterday is high, you know, just below the 38. Uh, 30 mark then potentially we still seeing upside notice the CTC in our favor we had a red candle now we have a blue candle so look for momentum drive to to push this higher and you can see that we do have a higher swing here so in this area here we could see a potential bounce occurring um, if I look at this is being the 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 daily pivot here's s1 above us so we have a clear indication of where s1 is likely where price is likely to go to if we can find support above this area here so s1 is likely to be our first target at 38 60 70 80 90 so it's 38 90 potentially it's our first target this morning followed by the, the s2 if we get a clear break above that you can see here 36 90 prior resistance good indication of further upside we are trading above a prior um, support and resistance level and ultimately s2 we were up here just below the 1400 mark so be aware of that, could see slight consolidation, but look for a bounce again on 38.78 before we see that 38.90 being retested soon. Next up is the sterling against US dollar. Let's have a look at the daily time frame. Yesterday's candle, uh, we had a inconsist inconsist uh, consolidation range yesterday and yes, oh, well, the day before and yesterday we saw this massive upside candle. Uh, what it's done is it's given us a projection level. Uh, what we can do is take the low of the candle to the high we've seen just below the daily pivot. I bring that back to the low end of this candle, the swing candle. And you can see that we've tested the 61.8% uh, area here at 15,800. However, Asian market session has been trading lower at the, at the open, just uh, below the 50% um, retracement area. 100% would take us back up to the uh, 50 period moving average, which happens to be a potential further support and resistance level, which is just below the 1,600 mark which is ultimately our support and resistance level for the daily uh, this being a very strong support and resistance level in the past if I just zoom out you can quite clearly see through most of this year we've seen a bounce on this um, bit of a fake out earlier but we had resist, uh, breakout resistance uh, recently in early September and we saw that massive sell off in the market now we're seeing a potential we're seeing um, pullbacks across the board um, here in, in particular we saw a lot of wicks to the downside pretty much hammers hammering at a bottom here which happened to be higher than this confirming we should see potentially upside movement creeping in and sure enough we saw this uh, bullish movement occurring over the past uh, couple of weeks so 61.8% uh, is what we need to be trading above so we need to see price trading well above 15800 to see further extensions to at least so the 100% here, just below the 1600 mark, so roughly around 15,9500 is where we'll be heading next. Uh, notice we're still below um, the two most important moving averages, the 50 and 200. Uh, CTC is still extended to the downside for this particular pair, but as long as we can find, uh, as long as price can find support here at 15,700 daily pivot, we could see potentially a bounce higher to at least uh, the 100% area here fib extension at the 50 period moving average at 1595 let's have a look intraday you can see here i've just got a four hour you can see exactly what i'm uh, mentioning here you can see the extension higher however at the 61.8 if i just draw my fib projection levels you'll notice that we are 61.8 is the 15800 mark where i mentioned but we have the institution moving average it's and for the first time in this bearish outlook we've seen it being tested on the underside we had it here when we had that breakout back in in late um, in early September and for the first time we're actually seeing it being retested um, if you look at prior resistance levels here you can see extension wise we've had resistance uh, also testing that area. so a significant area here where we've seen both a prior support and resistance level so keep that into consideration making higher swings here so you can see potentially we could see uh, price pulling back in this range before we see another break to the upside so 61.8 the 15800 is going to be very very important for all your four hour and hourly institutional trading methods 
Got to see a break above this 5800 psychological resistance level to see further extensions to the 100%, which will take us back to just below the 1600, which is our ultimate long term support and resistance level on our daily time frame, daily and weekly. So, must see 61.8 at 5800 being breached today in the US session. We could see some consolidation in this trading range before we see a pop to the upside. Failure to see a break above that psychologically could potentially see us uh, seeing the lows here at the prior uh, support and resistance levels, as I mentioned, being tested. Um, ideally here, just below the 156500. And if that's the case, then we can look at our daily, uh, sorry, our hourly to give us those areas. So as I mentioned, got price has got to stay above 15 700 because that's the daily pivot a bounce off here would potentially see those higher areas uh, 61.8 which over here is it's the high of this candle which is the 200 pair moving average on our daily needs or on our four hour apologies that needs to be breached and then we could look at s1 at 158500 as our first potential target intraday and then the 1600 or 159500 failure to find support about 15700 Today we could see potentially S1 some downtime being tested here at 15600. Failure to find support here could see S2 at 1545 and S3 at 1535 being tested. However, as we're maintaining this bullish upside movement, higher uh, swing highs dictating price action. As I mentioned, if we do our fib projection points from the bottom here to the top, you can see that. 61.8 was uh, touched. This is the 200 period moving average on our four hour in particular. So strong resistance at this level. 50 period moving average, 50 percent uh, fib area has been tested and is trading on the underside of that. So if we find a psychological resistance level here, we could see the 15700 being tested this morning um, before we could see a potential bounce. For the prior resistance becomes new support, consolidation, and we could see further highs being tested to the upside. So keep that in mind today for sterling. Okay, uh, next up is the US dollar Swiss franc on a daily. Let's have a look. So, on a daily, you can see quite clearly that we've seen price pull back over the last couple of days after hitting some highs, and these highs were pretty much in the same area as prior support, uh, previous support and resistance level here that we saw in early January and February of this year. So, noticeable support through those first periods. Uh, first couple of months of this year and then we saw resistance and then clear selling opportunities uh, presenting themselves. Now on the hard right edge you can see price has been testing those areas at 9300 in particular and we've had a bearish engulfing candle uh, a couple of days ago which really took out all this momentum to the upside. We saw a slight hesitation at price support and resistance level and since then we saw yesterday's bearish candle really punching through. What it's done now is it's actually set up us up for further negativity. If you look at our intraday time frames, be aware that CTC on this time frame on the daily in particular is still looking uh, bullish primarily because price has been making higher swings. But you'll notice if I just draw in the major upside trend and this one now uh, nice thick black line, you can see that price is likely to find some sort of support or consolidation here because this is the upside trend on this time frame. So keep an eye on that. But if I move into our smaller time frames, look at our hourly. I've plotted the pivot points for this particular time frame. And as, as mentioned on the daily, we are trading just under the underside of the blue, uh, sorry, the green line, which happens to be our daily pivot area. Notice on an hourly chart, you can see we are clearly finding, uh, we have clearly broken through this area um, during the past uh, couple of hours. And we're trading the underside of it. We have seen a slight upside uh, consolidation against the major downside trend on the um, Japanese market or the Asian session, apologies. And if we fail to see price trading higher than this 900 uh, level, then potentially what we'll be seeing is the breakout, the consolidation, and then the continuation to follow. Notice we've seen lower swings, which is depicting price action, and that trend line is potentially above us. So what we could see is consolidation, resistance, and progression lower. So if we look at the, uh, the FIB projection levels, this is where we saw the major trend start to the downside. This is the support we found. This happened to be the prior pullback. And you could see that the 61.8% uh, line was tested over the last couple of hours or so. We, and 100% is ideally what we're looking for is our, our overall uh, target. And you can see it, it's quite clearly marked just, just below the 88.5. So 88.4, 88.5. 
or 380 thereabouts is our potential target. However, if we find resistance at this level here, then I've marked out potential S1, S2s. So the downside is first targets. We hear second targets. Um, we're looking at, uh, at the 8800 mark and our third targets potentially at just below the 87, uh, 86, 8 uh, mark. So just moving, you can see those quite clearly. So if we find resistance at this 900 mark going into the US session today, potentially we could see further kicks to the downside. Uh, we need, we do need to see price trading above 900 to see any extensions higher. Be aware of that. We have this trend, major trend line, so it's got to do a lot of work to potentially still be classified as bullish. At the moment now, we are bearish. We have seen a lot of selling on the past couple of days, so let's go with that. So momentum, if we fail to see 900 being tested, and we fail to see the Asian market high being uh, breached here at the 50% FIB area at 8980, then potentially we could see consolidation to the downside still taking place. And ideally, the low of yesterday at 89.92, and potentially the S1 down here at the 8875 mark being our first potential target. Last bit of the day is US dollar Japanese yen. And as you can see, we are trading above a price support and resistance level here, quite noticeable, and at 7,700. You can see that the Asian market has pulled back overnight. As long as it can find support above this previous resistance uh, area, we can classify the analysis as a breakout, consolidation with a uh, further look at continuation to the upside. Ideally, we could look at the prior resistance level above us as our first target here at 77,700. That's potentially our first target if and when price closes and finds support at the 7700 mark. We don't want to be thinking of going long if we, it's likelihood for price just to pull back underneath the trend. Notice the CTC on this particular time frame, the daily is still looking negative. We have been consolidating in this trading, this consolidative bearish trend for a long period of time after having a break of the previous support and resistance that we had at the 80 mark. So we've had breakout. And we're now trading in this consolidation range. Ideally, we'd like to be trading above the 77.70 mark because then we see more free air. We had a slight uh, consolidation here, for example. We could look at 79 as a potential target. So you can see there's quite significant uh, clean air between the 77.70, which happened to be prior resistance, and 79. So let's wait. If you have um, patience, ideally wait for a confirmed break above 77.70. And then we could look at potentially 7900 as our first potential target and ultimately 80 which happened to be our very strong support and resistance long term as our second target for this pair. If I go to the intraday charts, the hourly in particular, you can see I plotted that green line again which is our daily pivot and we are trading just slightly above it. We have a bounce and that bounce on that pivot if you took the extension from yesterday's buying from the, high, uh, from the low to the high of yesterday's trading range, you'll notice that we have now seen a pullback of 38.2% FIB. And that's a very important one. If we could find support at this level, as I mentioned, above the 77, then psychologically, even though the CTC is giving us a selling indication here, for this to be a true sell, we need to see the 7700 being breached. Until then, we've seen consolidation. And if we could find support above here, then surely we should see the CTC on our smaller time frames, like our 30 minute and 15, giving us a blue buying signal to see with a further upside movement and ideally our first target would be the highs here at 77.45.50. So until further notice, bide your time, wait for corrective here, nice bullish engulfing would definitely confirm that we're seeing further upside movement and a support being found at a prior resistance level. Failure than that, we see a bearish engulfing candle to the downside would confirm that we should still see me uh, further um, consolidation to the downside. Then ultimately we could look at the prior breakout area here at the 61.8 area, you can see quite clearly that happened to be prior resistance in the past at 76.75 as our second target. So be patient, look for support to be found here on your smaller time frames for potentially to see further extensions higher. That's it guys for today, hope you have a fantastic trading day. If you are using the CTC strategy, please back it up with sound money management rules. You can have the best strategy in the world, but if you don't back it up with quality uh, in, in terms of money management, it's worth nothing on the market. So be aware of that, factor that into your trading today and make sure you take your profits when they present themselves. Until then, have a fantastic dating trade, trade serenely.